and welcome. Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV. How's everyone doing? Um, <clears throat> we're going to get on about the Leeds United game in the Carabao Cup. I'm going to go through a bit of a thought about it and uh, start my prediction starting 11. What could be, could be, could not be. Um, I think it's fair to say that there are going to be a fair few changes. Seems to be the case in Cup games. So we'll get straight to it and we'll have a look at to my predict starting starting 11. So, yep, Carabao Cup. Here we go. I can see Walton starting. Um, fair to say that he started in the Middlesbrough game. Would he be starting, you know, Walton getting a run out in cups? I think that's what it's going to be like. Uh, changing, uh, mixing it up a bit. Going to be taking a fair few thousand. Is it two and a half, nearly three thousand? Uh, Barnsley fans over to Ellen Road. So, again, although it's going to be changed, kind of expected, it still be a pretty strong lineup, I think, in my prediction. John Elliwell, I know he started at Middlesbrough. So, again, it's, you know, is it going to be too much to test up against Premier League opposition? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's one of them plays, but I think. Could Will Undermark play in that uh, position or Conor McCartney? Um, again, is kind of right at defence, but he could play, possibly play at right wing back and all. So, again, for me, Jordan Elliwell, but could also stroke see Will Undermark in that position as well. So, again, it's about opinions. This is what I'm thinking it might be, is, is in regards to lineup. Defence. Mads Anderson, I think he will start uh, when you look at the people I've got starting with him. I think he'll start. Again, if he got rested, I'd be surprised. Um, Elik is still nowhere to be seen. He's still out injured. So he's not near first team squad at the minute. I don't think he will be against uh, Ipswich or possibly Chef Wednesday as well after that. So again... I'm going to be having to be relying on Mads. I can see Connor McCartney, um, or McCarthy, starting in the back three. And Jasper Moon. I think with Jasper Moon, I could also see him stroke Kundi. I could see him either being involved in first team set up or Kundi or either or one on bench. So if Moon starts, Kundi on bench, Kundi starts, Moon on bench. I don't know that. Um, it's a bit of unpredictability of what's going to be happening. We've got to take into account, yeah, this Leeds away in Carabao Cup. But when you look at the next two league fixtures away, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday, you kind of think where the priority is going to be. I know we've got Lincoln City following it midweek as well in uh, Pizza Trophy. So, again, I could see that happening. People probably think, no, we'll go for this. Again, like uh, ending it, we'll, we'll go through. Clark Adua. I did have Nicky Cadden in, but apparently the injury and this and other, and then it got announced late, earlier on today, sorry, through uh, Michael Duff at a press conference that Nicky Cadden uh, Nicky has picked up a, you know, uh, not gone well with his injury. So it's a bit of a setback. So Clark Adua, probably left wing back. So again, going to be no Williams involved. There's going to be no Callum Styles involved. Kind of see a, a few changes, whether it's too many changes, I don't know. Um, again, let me know your thoughts about the, the more or less back line of the wing back rules. Am I not far off? Would you see any more changes? Would you try anybody else in that position? That'd be interesting. We'll get on to the midfield. And again, I'm kind of wanting to put players in or, you know, give him a rest kind of thing, but we'll see how this one goes. Matty Wolf, I can see him starting. Uh, I know he came on in his second half against uh, Wickham. I can see Matty Wolf starting, getting some first time, first team action, some fitness as well. Luke Thomas, again, I a I'm bit undecided with this, and I'll I'll get to a reason why. I, I kind of see Luke Thomas in back just behind playing front two, but I could also swap him probably with Aitchison 
because he played in that role at Forest Green Rovers, and I think it should have been more suited in the attacking midfield role, if you, if you know what I mean. So if you want to be in Luke Thomas, I'd say Jack Aitchison. Personally, I'd, I'd put Jack Aitchison in, but I think he's liable to go with Luke Thomas just with too many changes happening against uh, what's well, going to be a, a decent lead side. Well, you know, even the second second side will be a decent side. Uh, we've got some quality on players with ends. So, again, Thomas, but I could also see Aitchison playing in that role. And either one on bench, just like Moon earlier on. Midfield. Aitchison. I, you know, I could see Aitchison. I could see a number of players in that position. Um, Ackroyd, if, if Thomas drops back in with Wolf, I could see Ackroyd, I could see Benson. You know, there's a bit of a, a, bit of a conundrum there. But if Aitchison didn't play in Thomas's role, I could see him playing in the midfield role or swap it about. Midfield's going to be a bit tricky. That's if his provider is going to be going with the, the three at back route because I know he altered it to 4 4 2 in the second half against Wickham. Up front, Norwood, I think I'd start Norwood just for. Bit of experience, bit of nous, and just see what he can do against uh, a lead side. So for me, I'd go Norwood alongside him. I want to go young Agent Marsh. Again, if Lady Zaka were Vera Vera Bart, so no were involved in Millsburg game, then after that he wants involved in the squad. So again, is he even going to be allowed to be well, not allowed, but is he even going to be on some of the Duke's bench? So that's my starting eleven. Predict a starting eleven. There's a few players there that you could kind of swap on the mark for Helliwell. You could have Benson or Ackroyd in for either Aitchison and Thomas. And like I said, up front, I'd go with Norwood and Marsh. If Lady Zeka had been there, I'd probably gone with Marsh and Lady Zeka. But I mean to go on Norwood because I don't know what's happening with Lady Zeka. Substitute bench again. You could be looking at Jarlow, you've got to look in at Middlesbrough, didn't he? You could take your pick between Undermark, uh, Benson, if he's not starting, Ackroyd, if he's not starting. You know, there's players there, Luke O'Connell, if he's not starting, Robbie Cundy, Brad Collins. Up front, you could be looking at, like, Jarlow, you could be looking at Devante Cole, you could be looking at Slobodan Tedic. If he gets lucky on first team, I don't know. But I think it's fair to say that we're all wanting, you know, reinforcements which were identified and, you know, said on the preview after and the player ratings and people, you know, fans, always just fans' feedback when we were analysing a game. Still missing my presence upfield. I did a... You know, after match thoughts, I got Steve on over day as well. Players out vehicle, Stockton. Is it answer? I don't know. Alpha May, is it answer? I don't know. But we need at this moment in time to be going out and getting someone who actually scores goals. It's all right trying to create chances or chances that we have created not been put away and been converted. Goals win your games. And, you know, let me know your thoughts at score against Leeds. I mean... Great result for them at weekend. Their priority, you'd like to think it'd be obviously have a bit of a cup run, but come straight on league. But they're going to be coming off a uh, confidence, and I, we're going to be taking a fair amount of following. You'd like to think we're going to be at least being racing and competing against them. What we don't want to be seeing, or what I don't want to be seeing, I'm sure us as fans don't want to be seeing, is like if we go a, a goal down, body language and you know alter in the way. You know, we can't afford, we need to be fighting until last minute. Bristol Rovers from first minute, first minute to last minute, we're in it. Wickham, huffing and puffing it first half, but in second half, you know, they just got back goals before half time, didn't they? And second half, we never really got going again. So, checking out everything else about refs and this, where we look, we've got to look, Barnsley, you know, you got to look, got to look at the, the way how we, put our footprint on the game, 
how we approach the game. It's all about standards. It's all about playing for a shirt. It's all about doing it for the fans. If you put it on pitch, all these fans will get behind you. Not what happened on pitch, but it's hard for us as fans to rally troops up. We've all got Spears one. Yeah, people say it's just a cup game and we're not really expecting all that from it. But for me, every game what we play, we should be expecting. Should be expecting a performance. Should be expecting, you know, work ethic to be there. And, and, and Michael Duff will be as well. And his backroom staff will be just as disappointed. Of course he will. But that's what we as fans have got to do. That's what players have got to do when we cross white line. You know, we've all got to be as one. Because what happens on pitch goes to stands. Stands will, you know, us as in stands as fans will make it, you know, an atmosphere and it'll be uh, a better, a great atmosphere if we're winning or we're actually performing what we know that we, we are capable of doing, but consistently as well. So thanks for uh, listening. Um, my predict is starting 11. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. It means a lot. It keeps algorithm going and um, it, it's great to see that I'm I'm knocking up nearly 9,000 9, subscribers. Um Try new things out, new concepts. Let me know your thoughts. You know, would you start anybody differently? Would you, you know, um, and reasons why? What would we bring to the game for you? Is in regards work ethic or a different standard, a different style? And if you want to do, give me your score thoughts, your score predictions. This will be an interesting one. Is it going to go to extra time and penalties? You know, we're going to, you know, what's going to happen? It's going to be a lot of unknowns here. If you are going, which you know, the vast majority of it, uh, are and we are as well. I am as well. Safe journeys. Um, if we meet up, have a catch, have a natter, have a banter, have a drink, that's fine. Let me know your score. Let me know your team. Thanks for watching. One thing left to say, you reds. Mm-hmm.